Okay, let's well, time to talk about the clown episode. Not one of the good ones. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 14 of Supernatural Season 7. Plucky Penny Whistles Magic This episode kind of sucks, guys. Apologies for the delay on this one. I've watched this one twice to just like actually like be present to watch it and it it's not very good is it one of the worst episodes ever i guess not but i just find that it's very much the very reason why i disliked season seven and it starts off with literally the thing that i thought they made up but i forgot that it was actually said it starts the episode with a, just a generic phone call to Jack Sparrow's first mate, they find out that there's nothing on Dick Roman, so Sam says, so we've got Dick on Dick. And I honestly thought that was something I said. I didn't think that this show said it. That is so much of the relevant story towards the Leviathans. Dick on Dick, now it's time for a generic random Monster of the Week episode. Now this is exactly kind of the very reason why I just like the latter seasons, of the, the, the final seasons of Supernatural. It, it's all about this weird kid emporium thing, which I think actually the building is in Abbotsford. These creatures are coming to life and killing parents, and they're all related to a guy who screams he's the villain, P.B. Herman's evil cousin. The guy just gives off the creepy vibes and the I know you're the villain vibes right off the bat. I understand that there's some clown reference jokes in here and I think when they explode at the end and they cover Sam in glitter and he has to go at one point I thought that was funny but aside from that this episode is so fucking pointless there's also the strange 40 hour time marker thing that tries to keep you attached to the episode that's the best way to say it because other than that this episode runs exactly the way as it normally would they cut back to the clown thing three fucking times i thought that they did it once and that was just how the start of it was it kind of reminded me of yellow fever a little bit but no they do it two more times and it's all this unnecessary time thing it means nothing very surprising things about this episode is that it's an andrew dad Daniel Laughlin episode. Those two did good work together, but even they, as a team, cannot fix this episode. It screams everything that made me dislike Andrew Dabbs writing. It just bewilders me that Laughlin wrote this too. It's just such a poorly put together episode. I can't understand what the thought process was for this one. Again, it kind of confers back to that whole Sarah Gamble's want to make this about strange monsters, and I guess, but it's just such a boring thing. Like, and it shouldn't be that boring. Like, the first guy gets killed by a giant squid just because they say he got killed by a giant squid, and he got he's got some interesting marks on him. That doesn't make the episode entertaining. Oh, I'll give it one other part. I think when obvious creepy dude gets into the interrogation room with Sam, and Sam just goes quiet. I think that part's funny. I think that's a good bit. But aside from that, that's it. The rest of the episode is just useless, pointless, very irrelevant. And I have a feeling that the next like seven episodes are gonna be exactly like that, if I'm correct. So in the end, my final rating for this episode is a two out of seven. I didn't like it, I thought it sucked, and I am just so drained watching this season. Admittedly guys, that's why I've been slow on this. I am gonna do a little bit more of a talking and point about how the season review has been going, but yeah. Apologies for the delays. It's just, this this episode sucked. But anyways, that's all for me. Let's see what you guys have to say about this episode. <laughs> episode 14 is honestly a fun episode to me. Utilizing childhood fear as a weapon made for a real cool concept for this episode. Plus we learned Sam's origins of being afraid of clowns in this episode. This episode honestly stems in Supernatural seasons one through three kind of vibe. I really love the humor and the visuals in the episode. If you treat it like a monster of the week that slightly continues trying with the Leviathan plot, it just is a fun time. You don't have to worry about it too hard. Um, I don't know. I, I get where you're coming from, from the vibes, but I feel like it's a very, very washed down uh, kind of vibe in terms of the era of the season one and two and three. I just found the whole thing just so irrelevantly predictable. 
season 14 or episode 14 this was a good one i'm surprised how scary the episode was it was interesting learning why sam is afraid of clowns it would have been better if lucifer had made an appearance here i like how the creepy the clowns are that are attacking sam like i feel i did feel a little sorry for the bad guy in this episode even though what he was doing was wrong you can tell in his warp mind he believes he's right i was glad that dean apologized to sam for ditching him at times when they were kids i'll give you that I think that there is a few like sprinkles, but I don't think these tiny little things like Sam learning, like we find out why Sam is afraid of clowns. Okay, it doesn't mean that the episode's still good in its own right, at least in my opinion. I do see that a lot more of you guys are a little bit more positive about this one. <laughs> as much as I already enjoy Pl Plucky, I feel like they should have had uh, Lucifer appear as one of Sam's hallucinations since the storyline was dropped and picked up again in that, in that episode that follows Plucky. It would have made the episode better in my opinion that the episode itself is about fears and having lucifer there would have made more sense and would ramp up the finale for sam's arc to be honest he's disappeared for so long now that i don't even know i i forgot that he's part of it i forgot that he's part of this fucking season all i remember about this episode was clowns chasing sam a kid giving his mother a hard time at plucky's the brothers were chasing some guy in a yellow costume sam being covered in glitter and if i'm correct this the supernatural intro for this episode was different oh also this is not only my least favorite episode of the season but my least favorite episode of the entire show and under your season 14 review is where i'm gonna rant about that oh my god yeah I, I, I don't think it's the worst one. I feel like there was that episode with the mannequin thing back in season six that I feel is probably one of the worst episodes ever. I would have given that one a zero if I could. This one was, yeah, this one wasn't really good either though. I like this episode. It's fun. It adds levity to a dark season. And I think the right person uh, stumbled, the right person stumbled upon this episode randomly. It would put them into the show. Ugh. Eh. I think the, the most of the episode is average of this series. We get a fairly standard mystery to solve some good brotherly moments and a villain that you'll totally forget about two minutes after finishing. Exactly. Although the effect says he regurgitates water was pretty well done. I'll give you that too. That was actually a pretty good, cool, uh, cool death. But what elevates the episode is watching Sam confront a childhood fear that gives us some good acting. Oh, nobody. Sorry. It was a fight edited with two bozos. I can't. For some reason, they keep on referencing predator like if you can if it bleeds you can kill it and as i said it's just they keep cutting back i i, I don't agree with you souvenir on this one apologies but yeah i i don't agree with that i don't think the acting i think they're just like you, you this is our material oh okay the clowns exploding was a shot used in many roads so far for the openings oh you're right though Jeremy, do you think that it's odd uh, tying Sam's phobia into a story into the larger arc of his return? Leaving Pal Ringo out of this one adds to the impact as he returns to Repo Man, but, I, but the lack of any mention of the deeper meaning to connect Sam's larger arc has always been off for me. Or do you think that it's... Like I said, I totally forgot that Lucifer was still a thing. I thought he had just disappeared. I, f I don't remember the season that well. And yeah, that would have actually probably tied it in because if all of a sudden Lucifer's just going to appear in the next fucking episode, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be a real fun time. The plucky episode, I for one, for the life of me, will never understand why Andrew Dad thought the 24-hour time uh, style timer would fit for this episode. What does 24 and Supernatural have in common? It's so bizarre that it doesn't come off as funny. It's just pure cringe. With that said, the rest of the episode is pretty fun. Jared fully committing to the idea of Sam being afraid of clowns and his performance, whatever the weird 24 clock thing is not present makes the situation so much funnier i add i admit i laugh pretty hard at times especially when they sprayed him with glitter overall decent episode yeah no the the timer thing just doesn't make any sense it's just a way to keep you in engaged in the episode because the material is so dry and stupid Thank you guys for your comments. Now we're going to talk about Repo Man next. So make sure to give me guys' thoughts about that episode in the comments below, and I'll read those off in the next review. Until then, guys, hope you're doing well. If you like this video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.